the preparation for the Valiant match uh, was just a lot of just trying to figure out the right comp to play for the week and just trying to just perfect it as much as we can. I think we only played that comp or like our kind of just overall like strategy. We only played it for like a day and a half, I think, before the match. We prepared for the LA Valiant in a kind of uh, kind of, I guess kind of just like we prepare for everybody else. I mean, we it was the first week. The thing is, with, with the new meta um, and with the new bands that come out with Overwatch, we kind of have to find the correct composition in the first week. So we kind of spent the first week just entirely looking for the composition to run uh, for the weekend, um, in which case against the, the Valiant, we prepared, we prepared like a Zenyatta Bap or uh, is it not a break comp with a with like a Winston Tracer dive? I think we're we're adapting pretty good for the most part to be retiring and Kodak uh, moving to a coaching rule. Um, I think we we we've kind of changed our calm structure because before Bebe was calming a lot, he was giving us a lot of really good communication. So we've kind of had to change up um direction and game plans and stuff like that. Bebe가 나가서 좀 분위기가 뒤숭생숭한데 그래도 팀원들 최대한 잘 하고 있는 것 같아요. Well, it's time to jump into our first map of the series. It will be Ilios and Ruins is where it all begins. Now you start to get the Winston into a better position. And look, Dreamer is having all this pressure taken off of him now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Swing Gravy goes bye-bye as Master hits him with a whip shot. So then, yeah, into the backline gate, it went with pretty much no help. So Edison is doing a good job of distracting a lot of resources from the Valiant. Peter were just all getting licked by the, the Tesla cannon there. And then Ursa could just charge on in once Rain's been forced apart with that, you know, precious cooldown of the immortality field, can go in and finish the job. This is the way the Rain would like to be playing Ilios in general. So the KSP does get one. You'll lose Gator as well, but yeah, I don't think you'll be able to make anything out of this in the long run if you're the Valiant. Time to go in. Not as easy for KSF to be able to do that. I mean, Gator. Hey, he gets out with a kill. That is That's astonishing. Wild. Yep. I mean, he gets a pretty tight spread on uh, those mines, so I think there's no chance for, for Rain. He gets knocked around a bunch. Couldn't even have been Master Whip shotting into something or, or something similar, a displacement ability. But uh, you saw how hard it is right now against this kind of compositions for tanks or, or initiators to stay alive. There it is. Atlanta Rain will take well. Atlanta Rain right now uh, don't need to do anything. It's such a great position to be in. Keep playing uh, their way. So Dreamer does this, man. He switches over towards the Winston, but KSP doesn't budge. He has a bomb, so that's fair enough. But the Valiant are running out of time. And it won't just be on this map that they suffer for this match. It could be on many of them in this series. But what do you do if you come in and you, let's say you play Shax and KSP? Uh, that you don't have any option, you think, to go over and play like an Ash potentially. Free can't really do what McCree's great at. Well, yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's gonna die. Uh, especially in this current meta. Free excellent at doing that. First and now with the Dragon Blade. He is one from KSF, but Dogman has a transcendence already in play, and Rain's being put under extreme pressure right now. The Rain moved to the point, and the Valiant's already exposed. Overall, I think me and the tanks i guess just overall just trying to um you know just keep sharp and everything uh there's just really no way of knowing what's going to be like the meta come about a month and a half for playoffs and there's just going to be more hero pulls so i think we're just all trying to be like just sharp on um anything that could be needed you know just uh make sure we're you know not, not like lackluster in any uh heroes uh, make sure our hero pulls are good um uh, besides that, I think that's just pretty much it. We're just like focused overall on all the tanks. I'm personally just trying to get mechanically better um, on Baptiste and Zenyatta and, and Anna. Um, so, you know, the better I can get individually, the better I think our team will be. So we'll see. Boss Guy are industries. It will be the Los Angeles Valiant defending first. Game position. He has better survivability as well, but I mean, he doesn't really need it so much because he's not trying to dive a brick. Either way, the Atlanta Rain take a ton of damage, but here it is the displacement factor. Roll on through. Rain loses his immortality field. Yeah. It's, a, it's about opening the gate for Edison by the looks of things. That one went into the kinetic grass, but 
But Gravy a bit unlucky there. Kinetic Grass was still going by the time he got killed, so he never got the Overshield. And Alastra are both up there, though, so a lot of healing resources are focused right now. And they're not on Dreamer. Dreamer had no one to heal him. Very clever that he got away, and just in the nick of time, there's an Immortality field. The Valiant do a very good job of actually splitting their forces and keeping both their healers back, but eventually they get run down. It's as simple as Atlanta having everybody in the one place and the Valiant being forced to split to give that vantage point to KSP. And you're in a much better position if you're the Atlanta Reign during this, because like you mentioned, they have both supports next to KSP. Just focused on him, laser focused, and Lastro won't get away. The Licking Tendrils claim him, and the rest of the Valiant now are gonna crumble as a result. Atlanta are dissecting them right now. Yes, that'll be Edison connecting on a Pulse Bomb onto McGravy as he's up in the airs. KSP, he'll get a touch on McCree, but this looks like Atlanta getting a full hold as they are rolling. I love this from Atlanta. This is so smart, the way that they're playing this composition. And they change about where they're setting up. You know, they start by playing back and then they realize they don't have the margin to do that. So they play forward and they still make it work. This time when we play the Valiant, um, I think we uh, just, uh, we had a better take on the week uh, for the meta. We had a good understanding of what we needed to do. Uh, I think we we're confident in our strategy. Um, so I think just all that uh, just uh, just helped us pretty much get a pretty easy win over them. Yeah, I think I think we came into this one more confident against the LA Valiant because of the fact that last time most of us believed that we, we should have beat them, um, and it was just you know a composition issue that we had with the game. So I think this time it was just a lot. Um, it's just the same confidence that we we knew we could have beat them before, so we were going to beat them this time. Uh, we'll see. It'll be Atlanta Rain on defense. I fully expect them to do a dive with the Sigma in play. Transcendence in play, so no one's really affected by that in the end. But he stays here. Urster stays safe after pulling the blade, and KSP gets rid of him with the bomb. Quite the bodyguard he's got himself there. And now it's going to be a <laughs> Hawk, Mini Diva. Okay, Dream is there, so it's going to be pretty hard. But Gator now comes to the rescue. Big Brother is angry. He gets knocked down. It's going to be a dynamite thrown at him almost immediately now. And Primal Rage is available Atlanta's for Dreamer. Going a lot into this. Godman oh has my. to invest to stay alive. Why? The rain could have just taken the L here and backed away. But Dreamer now buys him enough space. He did have to use Primal, and that's an early immortality field now. So can the Atlanta apply pressure? After the fact, it looks like that's possible, but KSF has other plans. The Dragon Blade is looking to try and slow things down for Atlanta, but he only found Urster, and the card got to the checkpoint. This is real messy. An ultimate's coming in here. Urster not expecting to run into Dreamer, or maybe it was the other way around, as Dreamer has to use the Primal and go, oh dear soldier! Well, he locks the legs, and the legs get torn from him. Now, Urster's happy with just the one kill now. Kind of hard to shift the Valiant off the cart here. There's so many opportunities for them to break line of sight, but still the Rain will try. Look at Rain. He's so low in the back line, and this should create some space. But Grave is able to break line of sight there by using the cart, but still eventually is taken down. And the Rain finally managed to evict the Valiant from the cart. It's just so easy right now. Master goes down, and Rain says, all right, stuff this. I'm going to step up and try and take this into my own hands. And it's going to be a transcendence from Dogman now. One also has to be used by Lastro. He's at least able to clear the minefield while he's in that uh, transcendence mode. But Erst is able to find KSF at the start of the fight there. So he's out. He could have built a blade. He could have got into Dogman as soon as he finished his transcendence. But it's not to be in the Atlanta Rain. They continue the trend. When they win, they win big. <laughs> We're just... I think we're just doing like an overall, just uh, making sure we're good at um, a lot of different like play styles. Uh, I think we took this, we've been kind of taking the past two weeks to kind of just uh, practice different comps, practice different, uh, you know, just dive and different other um, just comp variations. Um, I think that's really just what we've been focused on and just being really versatile and making sure that we're good at everything. We're just kind of preparing as per usual, I guess, we're, I mean, we're trying to, like we said earlier, trying to figure out the meta for this upcoming match um, this weekend. But yeah, we have the tournament coming up, which will be no hero bans. So for that, we just got to kind of prepare the compositions that we think are best in a no ban meta. So we're just trying to figure that out um, as the time comes. Mm, 완성되지 않은 모습인 것 같아. 더 노력해서 최대한 완성된 모습으로 대회에서 하고 싶어요. Hey guys, just wanted to thank you for checking out the video. Um, we'll see you next week.